to our next destination. Apparently this bridge went to the dog park. And here's a good look at the river. You're standing up on this pedestrian bridge. bike trail and pedestrian path that actually has a line down the middle apparently I'm walking on the wrong side of the road I guess I'm just a rebel that way As you can see this is the dog park so it goes from the parking lot out to a wider area here. I notice more and more people seem to own dogs. It seems like almost everybody does. Uh, of course I don't, as I explained in a video before. There's uh, a lot of responsibility in owning a dog and over the past, you know, probably, I don't know, 20 years, I've traveled a lot, been to a lot of states, a lot of places, and you know, it's just not good to have a dog in an environment where you can't spend a lot of time with it or you're just doing too much or too busy to take care of them like you should. But anyway, these dog parks, they didn't have all these dog parks when I was growing up. So I think it's become more of a thing over the past few years. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like they're having like soil and sawdust or something stored right there or maybe part of the area. Looks like they have a bunch of sand over there that's become overgrown with weeds. Apparently this trail happened as a result of the railroads in the area. As you can see, when 1986, the entire rail line was removed and became the Cedar River Trail west of Cedar Falls. See, it's interesting, east of Cedar Falls, the trail is known as the John Wayne or Iron Horse Trail. Partner, I'm gonna have to go to the John Wayne Trail. And if you should ever come here, they have a whole bunch of etiquette. And uh, I could uh, take a picture of this and print it out if you really want to know all the fine details. My wife and I were talking about one of my favorite movies the other night. After mentioning John Wayne, you probably think it's a John Wayne movie, although I do like the movie. Uh, the Silent Man, it was back in the, it was the 30s, early 40s maybe, that that came out. It's about a boxer who goes back to Ireland to reclaim his homestand and uh, he killed a man in the ring. He was a boxer, he was really good. And uh, now he's got a fight basically to try and get his land back and he doesn't want to. And so a woman he loves thinks she's a coward. Anyway, it's a really good movie, it's worth watching. Anyway, the movie that my wife and I were discussing is Napoleon Dynamite. Because she accuses me of that being my favorite movie. And it's right there near the top. I do like it. I mean, what do you think? Gosh, Kip, you ate all the flipping chips. Another dog park that I was at oh, about a month ago also had one of these little exercise parks that you take the dogs to and have a chance to run over obstacles, go through an obstacle course, you know, things like that. According to Google Maps, this trail goes for quite a ways. Um, about a mile or so up there, it crosses over the river again and ends up at an espresso stand. Of course, it continues after that, but it's 
funny that they built an espresso stand right next to one of these trails. Thank you for joining me today on Adventures of Big A. Today we got a two for one special. We got Cedar River Park and we got Cedar River Dog Park. So we got to see both of them. Fortunately, they were right next to each other, so I didn't have to go very far. A little bit of a walk, not very much, good exercise. Not too bad of a day considering it's overcast. But I want to thank you for joining me again and hope that you'll join me for my next adventure. And please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment on the video below. Thank you very much.